हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स कंटिन्यू द लेसन अ रोज फॉर द प्रिंसेस सो वी सॉ टिल द सोल्जर्स केम इन सर्च ऑफ द प्रिंसेस टिल दैट वी सॉ सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू पन्ना अल्लाह आई एम इन ट्रबल शी वॉक्स अप टू द कमांडर कमांडर एंड लिप्स हर वे स्टॉप आई एम बैक सो वॉट शी टोल्ड टू द सोल्जर शी शी टोल uh to the uh commander that she, that she is back okay actually she was the princess and she told she is back veil means the a piece of cloth okay which she was putting on her face that cloth she took and she said that she is back the commander and the soldiers bowed deeply to panna commander ha your highness where have you been magbul your highness he puts a hand on his head as if to stop it from reeling are you are you are you princess jahana your highness so magbul was totally shocked so she was he was asking are you the princess okay then jahana I went I went to see the city I was quite safe with Magbul bai so she said to the commander that she want to see the city and she is very safe with Magbul commander arrest him he abducted the princess so the commander was not convinced by that so he he asked the soldiers to arrest Magbul because he kidnapped princess like that they felt two hefty soldiers grip magbul's arm so hefty means uh, large and uh, very weight okay so the soldiers were very uh, uh, very strong so they they came and hold the magbul's arm jahanara stop let him go immediately commander but your highness the commander was not convinced he he was not uh, uh, convinced with uh, princess words so he want to arrest only jahanara no but do as i say you you will not trouble him he did not know i am jahanara and it was i who requested him to take me to the city to magbul softly go back to your gardens magbul bai and thank you because of you i have had one of the most enjoyable days of my life so what she said i had a very good time with magbul bai and thank you you can go to your garden and uh, he and uh, uh, she said to the commander not to trouble him okay so she had a wonderful enjoyable day in her life magbul exits dashed as the other look on so he went from that place the empress guard now scene 3 the empress garden magbul is sitting in one corner despondently he does not even care to look at his favorite rose plants suddenly there is a tinkling of anklets magbul looks up and scrambles to his feet it is the princess and the maid dilruba then uh, uh magbul was sitting in one corner of the garden very sadly despondently means sadly okay he was not even uh, looking at the rose plants okay so that time he heard the tinkling of the anklets so it was princess and the maid dilruba who were coming to uh, see magbul okay jahanara what's the matter magbul bai you are crying you are not happy to see me so this was asked by the princess to magbul magbul huzur shahiba how can i not be happy i am just bemoaning my fate so here what he is told uh, huzur shahiba means respected madam okay in uh, persian language it is respected madam so he said i uh, Who, how can i be be not happy after seeing you 
but I am only demoning. Demoning means lamenting. Okay, he was thinking about his fate. What happened? How his fate is going to be like that? He was thinking and feeling and lamenting. Dilruba, why Magbul Bai? What has fate done to upset you so much? So Dilruba is asking, what's wrong with your fate? Anything wrong? Magbul, I have to leave this place soon. Jahar, Jahanara, what? But why? You love this place. And what will these roses do without you? Magbul breaks down. So Magbul said, I have to leave this place. Then Jahanara asked, why you should leave this place? Because you love these flowers also. Then hearing that, Magbul breaks down. Breaks down means he can't control him. He started to cry. Dilruba, Magbul Bhai, please tell us what happened. Magbul, amid sobs. So in, in between crying, the commanders wants me to leave for Sikandra immediately. I have been punished because of yesterday's incident and sent off to work at Akbar Bacha's doom at Sikandara. Who will look after my roses now? So, boy, he was given a punishment of to leave this palace and he had to go and work uh, in the Akbar Bacha's tomb where his uh, uh, body will be kept. Okay. So, in the mem memory, mem mem memory place, okay. So, there he have to go and work, not in the palace. So, they all were silent, okay. Jahanara, don't worry, I'll arrange something. Aren't you going to give me a parting gift? So, she said, I will arrange something, don't worry. So, what gift you are going to give for me? So, Magbul looks at her devastated. He was totally upset and he looked at her. Certainly, Huzur Shahiba, he goes to the plant search for a rose and picks it. He offers it to her. This is my last gift to you, Huzur Shahiba. So, he gave a flower, rose to princess and he said, this is my last gift to you. Jahanara, accepting it, it's beautiful. Dilruba, yes. Even more beautiful than Shubha. Magbul smiles for the first time. So, he gave the rose to Jahanara. She said it's very beautiful. Dilruba said it's more beautiful than Shubha. The flower which, gave, which he gave on the previous day. So, on hearing that, Magbul smiles for the first time. Jahanara, as a reward I am giving you. Dilruba. Shall I go fetch one of those gold chains you had set aside for gifts? So, Jahanara wanted to give, give a written gift to Magbul. Then Dilruba asked, whether shall I go and bring the gold chain to give as a gift? Jahanara said, no, Magbul Bai doesn't need gold. Magbul's face falls. Okay, he was still sad only. She said, he doesn't need a gold. He deserves something far better. The rose gardens of the Kila to tend for the rest of his life. So what she said, he doesn't need a gold. He deserves something far better. Actually, he should have some gift which is better than gold. What is this? It is go rose garden. Rose garden of the Kila. Rose garden of the palace. Okay, so palace itself he can work to take care of all his life. Magbul, Huzur. Okay, so in uh, in respect he said, Jahanara. And if that commander troubles you again, tell him to come to me first. So she she gave a promise that uh, if the commander troubles you again, you send him to me. I will take care. Magbul, a thousand thanks. Huzur Shahiba, I will create the best roses in the kingdom for you. So he thanked for hundred times, sorry, thousand times and he promised to create best roses in the kingdom. Jahanara, yes, but before that, Magbul Bai, I have, requ I have a request for you. Magbul, anything. 
Jahanara. Next time you go to the mandir, send me the prasad. It was delicious. Magbul and Dilruba laughed. By the way, what is the name of this rose? Okay, so what now uh, princess was asking. Uh, next time if you go to the mandir, to the Hanuman temple, you, uh, you send the prasad of that temple to me because it was very delicious. And she asked Magbul, what, what is the name of this rose? Okay, so Magbul said it is Shezadi Jahannara. Okay, so he named that flower, that rose as the name of the princess. Okay, so the, the name of the rose which he gave is the name of the princess itself. So, let's learn the glossary. Gulbadan, beautiful and delicate like a flower. Badal, cloud. Dildruba, one whom the heart likes. Suba, dawn. Won't tell a soul. Won't tell anyone. Brand of humor, sense of fun. Atar, perfume. Prasad, sweets and fruits offered in worship to God and later given to or distributed to devotees. Inlay work, carved design of stone set into the surface of another stone. The Taj Mahal has beautiful inlay work. Really spinning, abducted, kidnapped, despondently, sadly. Crumbles to his feet, stand up hurriedly. Be uh, bemoaning, feeling very sorry because of. Devastated, shattered. Huzur Shahiba, respected madam. So you can read the lesson. That's all for this video. Thank you children.